In this video, I'm going to show you three powerful ways to get more views on your YouTube channel fast by using YouTube keyword research and competition research in your niche. When you're a beginner on YouTube, you often struggle to understand how other people are getting so many views and why your channel is getting stuck and that it seems like it takes forever to get your first thousand of subscribers. There is a huge power behind keyword research and being very strategic about the topics of your videos, about the titles, descriptions, tags on your videos. So let's dive into the strategies. Strategy number one is doing extensive keyword research and trends research on YouTube. One of the ways to get traffic on YouTube is by using search results on YouTube. People search for keywords on YouTube itself and also YouTube videos often show up in Google search results. Not all the keywords will show you this YouTube videos there in Google, but many keywords will. And I would say if you have some educational content or especially how to content for these keywords, Google very often will show a block of videos from YouTube in the first page of search results. So if you can make some of your videos rank for keywords on Google and on YouTube, you will have a solid and stable traffic source. For example, on my channel, I'm getting mostly traffic from YouTube search, which makes over 40% of all my views on YouTube. About 7% of all traffic to my channel comes from external sources. And out of the external sources, Google makes up to 40% of all traffic. I showed you this to demonstrate how important keyword research is and how optimization for search results can be important for your success on YouTube. And now let me show you how you can do this keyword research. Probably you've heard about a few keyword research tools on YouTube and they're not bad, but they're quite costly, especially because they all have a monthly fee. Today, I will show you a great software tool called Tube Atlas, which can help you make a very thorough unlimited keyword research and you will only pay for it once. There is no monthly fee. You can purchase the software installed on your Mac or Windows computer and you can use it forever. I know Dave, the developer of Tube Atlas, from his other keyword research software, which I already covered on my channel. That one is called Penis Inspector, and it can help you do keyword research specifically for Pinterest platform. Just in case you were interested in learning more about that tool, I will give you a link to my free tutorial in the info icon up there and also in the description down below. So I already had a chance to benefit from Dave's software, so I expected that Tube Atlas will be awesome, but it's even better than I expected. Here is how it works. You will find a link to Tube Atlas in the description below this video, and you just need to follow the installation steps and instructions from Dave. And once you are inside the tool, the first thing that you will find is a big library of help videos that Dave recorded so you can see each and every feature of the software and how it works. I just wanted to mention here that this video is not sponsored by Tube Atlas. I'm doing my review here, my honest review, because I think it's a very helpful software and very affordable compared to anything that you might find on the market for keyword research but it has so much more than just keyword research you will see it right now when I start showing you the software but I have to mention for full disclosure that the link in the description down below is my affiliate link and uh, I might get some commission as an affiliate for recommending this product at no extra cost to you so if you want to support my channel and thank me for creating this tutorial I will be very thankful if you use my affiliate link. All right, once you are looking at the keywords tab, what you need to do here is just type in the keyword, the seed keyword uh, for YouTube. And uh, let's say I was searching something like blogging tips. Once you click generate, it will take a little bit of time and will generate some keyword suggestions for you. Now, if you look down here in the left corner, in the bottom left corner, it's the, there's a button called volume data. And if you click on it, you can open two options, import search volume data from either story base. And um, the second option is Google ads. If you want to learn how to use this feature click by click, I recommend you to watch Dave's videos number four and number five to understand this feature specifically how to set it up. But here I just wanted to clarify that your search data can come from either these two free sources or there's another option. If we go back to this uh, left bottom corner, you will click here 
on the volume data and you'll see that there is another option called get the, the information from keywords everywhere with this tool the integration is also quite smooth but even easier than the previous option but um, the downside here is that keywords everywhere is not a free uh, software so it's not expensive at all but it's not not a free tool i will give you all the links to all these additional services um, in the description down below so you have two options to use the free tools and to use uh, keywords everywhere it will be uh, a little easier and faster if you use keywords everywhere but you still can get all the search volume data for free but here we will not stop on just looking at the search volume uh, because dave also integrated this wonderful feature that allows you to see search trends and how it works is that once you have a list of keyword suggestions what you can do you will right click on your mouse and you will see all these options so what you need to do here is send all of them to trends tool and before you do this search i recommend you to change the time period to 12 months because this way you will see if there is any seasonal effect if there are any spikes in traffic volume and then you can just click go and see what the tool is going to show you for some of the keywords apparently the keyword data will not be available but for many keywords it will be available and and it can give you a good idea of what's going on in terms of uh, traffic volume around the year and whether or not there is any seasonal effect. And now if you want to kind of zoom in to see more in more detail this graph in the, this chart, you can click there and you will see that in some months uh, this keyword uh, is less popular. In other months people have higher interest in studying uh, blogs, I guess, and in blogging tips in general. In some months this interest is going down. In other months, it's really going high up to 100. By the way, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel to get more of my video tutorials and online business tips in the future. Now, the second way of growing your YouTube channel is by doing a detailed research about the videos that show up high in search results for this keyword that you're trying to to target in your videos. So we're going to search for videos for blogging tips and what happens here you can click search and it will extract if you want it can extract the videos that are in the top search results only on YouTube if you remove these checkboxes from Google and Bing but if you wish you can also have um, the first result the first page of results in Google as well including here and also there is another button to extract latest trending YouTube videos sometimes these trending videos won't be the ones that already have um, a lot of views but if they're trending it's probably because YouTube recommends them to users because they're getting some traction on the platform sometimes it makes sense to also include this trending videos but if you want just to include uh, the videos from the first page of YouTube you will just check uh, check this box and start doing the search um, by the way there is a button that allows you to stop the process sometimes for some keywords it might take longer time if the keyword is very popular or um, uh, it can give you too many results so in case you want to stop the search you can always stop if you you're getting like hundreds of results and you don't want to um, analyze that many results and now what we're getting is really interesting because for each video this tool is going to bring you the title the description and you can filter the results by looking at the videos that have the highest amount of views when you click on each column it allows you to to look at them uh, from the highest number of views let's say to to the lowest or if you click another time it will show you um, the opposite the other way around uh, you can do the same with likes comments you can also see the length how long is the video and so when you're looking at the most popular videos you can see whether or not it's important to have longer videos and apparently it is important for some of the videos like the longest video so far uh, that has the highest number of views out of these videos that showed up so uh, here you can also um, go directly to the video and watch it there another amazing column that i always recommend you to have a look at is the 
estimate video earnings. So they've included this column here because you're not on YouTube just for fun. Obviously, if you're trying to use a software like this for um, and for a thorough competitive research, you also want to make money on YouTube. So it's important to understand which keywords can make you more money, which keywords can make more money over time, because there is also estimate earnings per day. And if you scroll even further here, you will find if your window is bigger as mine, you will probably see many columns, but and on some screens you will need to scroll a few times over here. So you can see here also um, the name of the channel and also the channel link. And also you'll see that not always uh, the videos that are the most popular, not always they are from the biggest channels. So on YouTube, you can tell that if your channel is smaller, it doesn't mean that you have no chance to compete with other channels. And then the third way how you can grow your channel is by doing channels research. So you're going to look for channels that rank high uh, for this keyword that you're trying to focus on. I will again remove Bing and Google. I just want the results from YouTube. When you click search, it will give you a list of popular channels that are ranking high for the search phrase blogging tips. Here, the interesting column is that column that shows you when the channel was created. You can see here that not so many channels are actually very old on the platform. Many channels were created in the last couple of years. You can see the number of subscribers and also fil filter by that. You can see the, the titles of these channels and obviously uh, based on the titles that's how these channels usually are ranked. So it's important to have in the title of the channel this keyword. So let's say we want to select this row and once it's selected, I can right click uh, on my mouse when I'm hovering on top of this YouTube channel and I can click analyze videos for this selected channel. Uh, what it shows me, it's the browser, it's internal browser inside this software. And now you can see all these videos from the specific channel that you selected. You can click start auto scroll. You can stop at, at, at any time if you don't want to scroll for too long and we will click extract video links. Now you'll see that in this column there are plenty of video links. What we can do from here, we can click here on the button add links and it will send them to the video tool. And now you can see that all these links came to this video tool. What we can do here, we can click get data and it will start extracting information from all of these videos from the channel that we were analyzing. So you are now analyzing not just some random videos that rank high, but videos specifically from this channel. You can do this for a specific keyword, but you can also do this for some channel that you like. Let's say there is a competitor of yours on YouTube and you know that they're making a lot of money with the channel. So what you can do in that case is analyze the specific channel that you want. Uh, start with the channels tool, get all the links, to their videos and then send them to the videos tab and find out which videos are getting the highest number of views, which videos are making the highest earnings and so on. There is another great feature that allows you to insert a video link uh, and then you can convert it to text and it works really quickly. Let me just show you quickly how it works. So I copied a video link, I will click convert to text. And in a few seconds, I'm getting the full text on my video of my video, then I can click auto punctuate and it will make it look more like a normal text. And from here, what I can do with it, I can take it and you repurpose it on my blog. I've obviously, I'll need to edit it because this is a script and there are parts where I'm saying while you're watching this video or whatever, I'm saying subscribe to my channel and things like that. So obviously, I will have to reread this and edit it. I cannot just copy and paste it uh, and use it as a blog post as it is. But obviously, it's a much easier way than to write a blog post from scratch when you already have something on your YouTube channel and you can repurpose your own content that way. As I mentioned, you will pay for this software only once and it gives you so many more tools for doing keyword research and even more competitive and topic research in your niche on YouTube. It definitely is worth your time to install and test this software. Get the link to the software in the description below and also check the link up there to my video that will help you grow your YouTube channel to the first thousand of subscribers as fast as possible. I'll see you in the next videos.